everybody, it's Renee over at Tailspin Farm and I am hopping on today to do a little how-to video um, and show you how I start sharing my rabbits. We are still cold here in Pure Michigan. We've got snow happening today, um, but there is hope on the horizon it looks like by this weekend and then starting next week we will be more in our normal 50 degrees um, and then into the 60s and I can start thinking about sharing rabbits down for summer which is typically what I do. Um, Angora rabbits do better in the cold than they do in the heat. And I have most of mine sheared during summer. Um, and so I'm gonna give you a little um, how-to video on that today. I have my new um, German rabbit in. Um, I have typically raised English and French Angora rabbits. And I, in January, I got um, a German rabbit, a German Angora. Um, and so I wanted to show you on her, um, the, the difference between the English and the French and the German besides size difference, um, and fiber type, um, they're, the fiber types are basically the same. There's, there, there's a little bit of nuances there, but the Germans do not, um, shed. You can't comb them for the most part. Now I can sit here and pet her and I'm going to get teeny tiny little flecks off. But if I had one of my um, English or French sitting here right now, I could bring handfuls up and I just can't with, with a German. They have to be um, sheared. And so I thought I'd do a little video on how I do that. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you how to cut their toenails. Um, the tools I have, and I will um, link these down below, I have the Fiskars. Um, I think these are called Seam Ripper shears. And I like these. I like this edge here so that I can get... Um, close to the rabbit without usually harming them. I try to be really careful when I'm grooming. And then I have just a pair of dog toenail clippers. That's all you need. And my grooming brush I don't necessarily need for her because I, I'm going to have to cut most of her hair off. Um, and so, and then the second part of this video, I will show you the difference between combed and carded fiber and how I spin it. So let me um, stop the video and I'm going to flip it here so that you can see her and I'll show you how I do this. Okay, so I have her flipped and I think you guys can see this pretty good. Um, I'm going to move my tools here out of the way. And to groom her, let me just make sure that you guys can see. Typically what I do is I will start right here in the middle of her back. You can see her color. You can see the stable length on this. Um, it's going to be four or five inches. That's pretty good. All I do is, um, again, I divide and then I'm going to gently come in and I am just going to shear as close as I can and then I'm just going to pull and that's all sheared fiber. And of course my border collie is at the door if you hear crying, that is her. I am not gonna take all of um, this one's fur off today um, simply because we are still, like I said, we are still chilly here this week. I think we've got one or two more days of this and we're in the 20s at night so I don't wanna take everything off that she has. I'm just going to take some of this off today, um, but she will definitely need to be totally sheared this summer. Um, so I just sit here and I keep gently combing over and then I just take my shears very carefully and go to the edge where I can see and then I just cut. I like these shears because you can almost set um, if you watch me right here, you can almost set this right there and you can see that that edge um, <laughs> My poor border collie Willow loves chasing the rabbits and keeping them in line for me. She hasn't had anything to herd in a while So her herding mentality comes out with the rabbits um, So that's all I do is just very carefully um, this is probably a little bit quicker than um, combing. Although this, um, Germans are bigger rabbits than my English or French. Um, they have 
a little bit of a size difference on them. Um, I think English typically get to be about, oh, I want to say eight to 10 pounds. French can be a little bit bigger. Um, and Germans can actually get up to closer to 20 pounds, I believe. So they they can be big rabbits. And the reason I wanted to start heading that way is there's a big bang for your buck on fiber when you're spinning. Um, and so that is kind of where I'm heading with mine right now. I love the, the English rabbits are the fa my favorite looking rabbit. Um, and of course their fur tends to be a little bit more um, prone to um, knotting up and getting mats in it. Um, even more so than the French Angoras. And so, but I do adore the English Angoras. Um, and I'm just going to come back here and hopefully my arm isn't too much in the way. And you're going to get little pieces like right there. I cut an edge. I'm just going to pull that out. Um, and you'll see when we card this, I'm going to hand card this um, in my next video. You'll see, oh, and she's going to turn for me. <laughs> you'll see how I go about doing that. And so really this is pretty easy. Um, and if you have a rabbit that sits fairly well, um, if I don't, what I do, um, I will typically put them in my lap a lot of times if I'm having problems um, with them moving around too much, I'll sit them in my lap and do this. So, but for the most part, I am not hurting her or holding her down. Um, and she's pretty, pretty relaxed right now. And I'll just continue this all over. And again, I probably will not take her fur all the way off right now. Um, uh, my rabbits are all out in our garage right now. So they are protected, but it, again, it is cold right now. So, um, and once, if we start getting some 50, 60 degree days, I will definitely want to finish her out because she is loaded. Um, as you can see, I've just done this small section here and I already have a good amount of fiber in my hand right now. Um, she doesn't have any um, and some of this is going to be shorter back. Her prime coat is right in here, just like on a sheep or, um, alpacas or anything like that. This is the, the main area that they like. Um, and so that's where I'm cutting from right now. Some of this is going to get a little bit shorter as we go through. Um, and she does not have many mats. I cut out, I'll sh show you right here. Um, if you lift, she has a mat right behind her ear. So typically what I do is I'll pull the mat and I'll feel with my fingers where her skin is and I'll just clip the mat right out. So she doesn't have too many. She had that one there behind her ear. And I think she has one more back here. I'll get, um, it's just a small one. But other than that, she's not really matty at all. Um, so she has some beautiful fiber on her. I'm, I'm excited to spin this this week and see see what I can get. Um, so yeah, that's essentially what I do. Um, and I just keep going around and around. I try to stay pretty even um, so that I have the same length of fiber that I can get all the way around. And then she will stay nice and cool this summer. Um, another thing I do, and I'll probably do a video this summer, I have um, water bottles, frozen water bottles that I keep in my freezer that I put in with my rabbits. Um, anytime it gets over, usually anytime it gets over 80 degrees, which we typically will here in Michigan, depending on the year, it's not always that way, but most of summer is, is fairly warm. And so, um, I do keep them and we're, we're fortunate here where we're at now. It, we're more in Northern Michigan. And so it doesn't and we're on a lake, and so it does not get quite as hot um, here as where it did where we lived before. So I typically can keep them cooler. We're, we're surrounded by trees and woods and stuff too here, so that makes a big difference on the heat in the garage. So that's all I do for that. Um, 
It's really simple. And again, these scissors make it super nice to do. And then, let me see. I don't know if I can get a good video of this. Let me see if I can pull her hand out. If you, oh, I need to move her. What I do to trim her nails, typically you can see the, um, just the tip and then when you look down you're going to see where it's connected you do not want to cut that at all so essentially what you do is just put this on the tip just like you would do with a dog and a cat and it's good to keep their nails trimmed down they do get really long if you let them um, and it can get kind of caught up in her fur and that's all you do is just trim the edges off um, and it's much easier if i'm holding her in my lap it's hard to do this at this camera angle but that's all i do um so let me see if I can get this put back up and I can. So I hope that helped you out today. Um, really simple, really easy. And again, this is a German Angora, so they don't um, groom well with these. You can get some out, um, like I will get pieces but typically, if I were to run this through one of my other rabbits, it's going to come out pretty loaded. Um, and so that is how you would trim your Angora rabbits. So stay tuned. I'm going to do another video here later this week showing you the difference between my combed or plucked fiber and carded. Um, when I cut my fiber, you have typically these blunt ends where you cut. And I don't care to spin with those unless they've been carded. So I hand card all of my cut fiber. So I'm going to do a video later this week on that. And so I hope you come back for that. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And you can subscribe to my channel for more kinds of videos like this. And you can follow me. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Tailspin Farm. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Stay healthy and keep creating. Bye.